Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Martyr in another round and we will go on with the current investigation still this is the better build the um, full game is going to be released on 5th of June I hope that um, that this day still sticks because if you may if you may know or you may have heard that the full release of the console versions for the PS4 and Xbox One have actually been postponed, I think by a month, but the PC release is, you know, as of now, it is still set to be coming out on this exact date, so I hope that will still stay. So anyhow, back to the mission briefing. Subject deserters, hostage, rescue, location, defund cargo port H, 3911. I set up a meeting and let my contract spread the word about a potential beneficial trade. The feral beasts responded swiftly. I'll prepare an ambush and deal with them immediately. Objectives, clear the entire area of hostiles to complete the mission. Exterminate all enemies. Only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars. Yet as dark as usual. So we are going to have to do a little purge. I am sorry guys, I actually still thought we would have have we would have would have had a I still thought we would have the less gun equipped, so I was trying to go for a trying to go for a little hot shot, which you can see didn't really work out. And that is what I just can say about this game. You can you can talk about what they have put in in the battle as much as you can and how useful stones or whether that is on a ship or packets packages but i think that's my personal opinion that all these little assets are on the one hand giving you more arm and more more cover and on the other hand doesn't make the the game more vivid is i in my opinion the maps through that don't look as static as before and that is what I really like about the new assets that just makes the game really cool. Again opinions, everyone has a different opinion on all its good jazz and that is alright. If you do not like it then you do not like it. That is absolutely alright for me and good for me. but. That's just being it. So let's take those buggers completely down and really quick. We haven't used a inoculator as of yet for the little Balgrin here. We are going to use our plasma cannon, which currently isn't doing well. Wow, wow. Then I didn't get how much, how low he was on health then in the end, but I dig it, I take it. Good for me, good for me, good for me, nothing to complain. I still have to say there are sometimes, um, that is my biggest concern of the game, that I really hope they are going to somehow address. I don't know whether that is possible or not, whatever, but I think performance wise, I... I think performance wise this and and with that I'm talking you know of course about frames per second but I think there on that side the game is not doing that well um, I hope they are going to tweak a little bit around by the Emperor a demon was bound to the chest that is all what I can say there I really hope that that would make the game of course way more awesome but hence I that is the thing I'm really I'm, I'm not concerned I know the full release of course is going to be different from this better release I guess the most the, the biggest difference between those two versions is going to be the is probably going to be the the campaign or the story missions as I like to call them 
I'm, 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 I'm not, I, I'm, I can't put it in words actually. I do not know how, how, how much the better version and the full release is going to differ. I know um, Asset Hydra did put out a nice video, which I really liked, but you know, there are the cycle looks a little bit different, if I remember correctly. I'm. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's all I can say there. I hope, of course, the the difference between the better build will be and better and the full release going to be as big as between the alpha and better build. That is what I'm hoping. But less than a week to find out. That is actually the pretty amazing part here. And nothing special there. I'm actually currently really um, glad to use the auto gun. I'll absolutely oh, I would prefer bolt gun. I can say that all the time. But I like the little burst and I like you know doing a burst kill one enemy and go a little bit ahead and doing that aim for the next enemy. That is something I really like and which makes a lot of fun, you know, then to aim at a different enemy and all that good jazz. I love it. Still, I think the bolt gun has the big adventure, adventure the big advantage that through the explosive shots in for me you have a little bit more crowd control and are able to take down Horde's enemies and that is a important thing to do. We are going to take the health portion there because we do not want to die. Dying in this bad is in this bad in this game is really bad. And there you have seen sometimes that is what I'm address uh, at what try to address there. I what I hope they are going to be fixing for the full release that I'm having huge game game drops frame drops in the game sometimes this game is running at 60 fps and sometimes it drops down to 25 where i think why this, there wasn't even something great going on less enemies because i've already killed some of them so why is it dropping down that is something i hope is going to be fixed with the i hope there that's what i meant with there are going to be performance fixes or updates, adjustments, whatever you want to call that. That is what I hope dearly. The question of course is what is how long Nico Games is actually working on the full release, whether you know that's always I don't want to say the bad part, but that's always the thing when you are supporting three platforms and one platform is getting trouble. I don't know code-wise how much the PC and <laughs> console version are actually differing, but I guess, you know, there are going to be differences and one thing that is working on the PC might not work on the console and vice versa, plus what works on a Xbox might not work on a PlayStation and vice versa. So there might be subtle problems there, but I hope they can put enough time into the PC version, which which is of course for me the most important part. I own a PS4, but I prefer for this game here, of course, the PC. Of course, no hate against console games. I. I honestly, I entered the console market with the PlayStation 4 in two. When was it released? In two, November 2013, and I got mine, the Killzone bundle, in I think February or January 2017. Unless I'm, you know, having something now, a complete mix-up. But I enjoy the system. I haven't used all the nice stuff like the pre installed apps, for example, Netflix is on it, and some sports streaming app, and 
all nice. You can use it for streaming, you can use it for gaming, and I think on a 50 inch <laughs> on a 50 inch display or TV, it is and sitting on a couch with a controller in your hand. That is a the gaming wise a little different than no sitting worries. in you know I got a nice little gaming chair but anyhow it is nice then to play on the console and you know certain games like Detroit Become Human are only are only being released on the PlayStation so both systems have their advantages and disadvantages but I've for example, I own a Nintendo Switch as well, and I absolutely am currently there playing Donkey Kong. The refit, absolutely, I, all consoles have their distinct well, systems, advantages and disadvantages, and I absolutely love them. But anyhow, sorry, I'm, I'm digressing here. <laughs> really sorry for that. Still, I have played this game now for nearly one and a half years, so quite a lot of time. I'm not sure when the alpha, the initial alpha release was, I'm not certain, but I've been playing this game for a long time and the Neocorn games came a long way. I've talked about that before they really came a long way. If I remember when I started the game first, the first time you basically only had two set of maps and that was a okay it was random but static imperial facility like this one but the layout was changed you know it it the corridors were different and how the level was leading you was different but the all the else the settings it every looked um, lo every bit looked the same and you didn't have the variety you have currently in the game. Perseverance makes the bold. Give them more death. And that's of course clear if you go with a game for one and a half years, which is under development, many, many, many things are, are changing and are steadily changing. I guess that is a thing why I'm there a little bit biased and why I probably enjoy every little feature they integrated I guess that has something to do with that but that's just it I absolutely love it and what this game is really really neatly doing is that they do with small things like the atmospheric stuff you know and the maps are on Sometimes darker, sometimes lighter, sometimes you have fog, sometimes if it's a demonic incursion, for example, you have all the Nurgle nasty stuff in it. And that is really neatly done. And so you can you can what you can do there is with a small amount or a small set of maps or different kind of maps, you can generate quite a lot of or quite a big diversity and which not only seems like a diversity but actually is a diversity of course the maps are from the layout I th I don't know are they, I guess the story missions are the same layout or are they randomized I'm not even certain but you can with little things you can do big things and that is what I always think is very genius and a good sign of course how the game is going to be when it comes out I do not know I can't see the future my verdict probably is going to be still good because what can they make the game what can they do wrong to make this game a wrong game I can't imagine anything so that's it All right then, we will take a look on what kind of equipment we have received right now. I'm pumped on the epic Orogun there, on the artificial Orogun. I really, really love a good item there. Deep briefing, let's go on. Mission completed successfully. I have anti-imperial elements in custody. I won't release 
I won't rest until they have seen the arrows of their race and revealed where the main hideout of the Feral Beast is located. Result, operation successful. The subject the, the subjects in custody decided to help the investigation and reveal the location of the hideout. I must decide now how to proceed. I could lure out the feral beast with a well-placed but fake distress signal. I could attack their hideout and eliminate the shameful deserters on my own. I lure out the feral beast by sending a fake distress call to their hideout while their main force are away. I sent an extraction team to kidnap the to for the kidnapped um, tech priest. I will this one going straight into them but that guys is a thing we are going to do in the next episode until we have looked at our received items right now first of all first things first auto gun is a major upgrade i will of course take it and this is still so sad that we are all going to lose the items. That is really, really nasty because this one currently equipped I absolutely enjoy. For now guys, that actually obviously brings us to the end of this episode. As usual, I thank you for watching. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this episode, then why not give me a thumbs up um, if you haven't subscribed subscribe and if you have anything to say leave a comment if it's positive if it's negative always much appreciated as usual for now i wish you a happy day happy gaming happy whatever you are doing and i will see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty